Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to demonstrate how you can use uh, a simple application for handling zip files for being able to get out lots and lots of relevant files, relevant images and other graphics from a PowerPoint presentation. So let's say that you have a PowerPoint presentation like this one. Obviously we have no other content except for lots of pictures. And some of these pictures are cropped as circles, some of them are squished, some of them are stretched, but ultimately we have five pictures in this PowerPoint presentation. We could conceivably like click on them, copy them, and then try to paste them into something else. But actually PowerPoint has contained within it these individual image files and interestingly enough has them in their original uh, setup, if you will, their original look and feel. So I want you to take a close look at this picture of these three people, how it's cropped down to just being their full body, and then see this one with this uh, red-headed woman with her arms crossed, how it's cropped into a circle. And then we're gonna close this out and we're going to go over here to this PowerPoint presentation called This Has Pictures. Now, before you do this, you always want to uh, right-click on the file, copy the file and then right click on the desktop and paste it so that you have a copy of it rather than the original just in case you break something. Now for a long time um, the advice was always to right click on this and rename it as something that ends in .zip but interestingly enough if I right click on it and I have 7-zip already on my machine go ahead and download 7-zip right now you can then go in here and open the archive because every PowerPoint presentation in PowerPoint 2007 through 2016 is actually a zip file. You can go here to open archive and you can see the different folders that are contained within this PowerPoint presentation. You go in the folder called PPT, then go in the folder called media and watch what's in here. Image one, two, three, four, and five. And so if I go to image five, for example, this is that last slides image that was full screen, definitely. But on the first slide, we had an image that was cropped so that these three people had their full body in the image, but that was it. Notice that the actual image that's saved in the PowerPoint has all of this stuff around it. Or, of course, the woman who is cropped down to a circle, she has a rectangular image that you can get access to and use in any other file you want. Now, if you don't have 7-Zip and you don't want to open it up that way or something along those lines, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to right-click on the desktop. You're going to have to... <clears throat> Now, if you don't want to get 7-Zip so that you have this right-click functionality so that you can open the archive directly from the right-click menu, another way to do this is to open up a folder. So uh, here I have a folder open, and on the View tab right up here at the top, you'll notice there's a checkbox that says, please include the file name extensions when you look at a file like this one. So I click on the checkbox for file name extensions, and uh, let's just make sure it's actually turned on. Good. And now I want you to notice that this file is actually called this has pictures copy.pptx. And if I simply go to this and press the F2 key on the keyboard, I can take the .pptx and replace it with .zip for a zip file. Now when I hit enter, it's going to tell me that this seems like a bad idea, right? Uh, changing the file extension to something else will probably make it unusable. But in the, in the case of Office 2007, 10, 13, and 16 files, the DOCX, PPTX, and XLSX files are all zip files. So you can do this effectively. Then once it's a .zip file, you can double click on it. And because it's a .zip file instead of a .ppt file, it immediately opens in whatever your zip application is. So you can quickly and easily get access to the images that again, they're in those PPT folders in the media folder. And it's always going to be the original copy of this image unless somebody went through and compressed the images. <laughs> 